Hey Lobos, Ben Johnson here to show you how to make an interactive self-grading worksheet. This is especially useful if you've got a complicated Word document that doesn't convert into a Google Doc easily. And in this case, that's what happened to math teacher Mark Brooks. So I want to show you how you can convert those into a self-grading worksheet. We're going to use a tool called Formative. First thing you might want to do is apply for the Pro account. So you can just Google PSD Ed Tech. It's going to be the first result. You'll just click on that. And in the upper left hand corner there's upgrade pro accounts. So just go ahead and do that. And you can see that um, Formative is one of the uh, tools that uh, the district provides uh, pro accounts for. So you're just going to fill out your name, your school, and then in this drop down you're just going to pick Formative. If you don't see Formative in the drop down, just type an F and it will pop that in there and then you'll hit next. That'll email Kevin Murray. He'll make you a pro account and it should be ready in just a few minutes. So after you've done that, then you'll go to this website, GoFormative.com. They're giving it away for free for COVID-19, so I guess you could pursue that if you wanted to, but I'd probably just use Kevin Murray. You're going to log into the site. You're going to use your Google login, and you're going to use your PSD email. Okay. Um, first thing you want to do when you get into GoFormative is go to your classes and you just want to import them from your Google Classroom. So you'll just click that. I would do it now, but it would reveal a bunch of student names. So I don't want to do that, but you will need to do that. And you'll see that it'll pull in your students and their classes. If you have new students add your class, you'll just need to come back in here and import them again from um, the Google Classroom so that um, all of the students are in that class. But once you've done that and all the students are there, you don't need to go back and do it again. After you've added your classes, you're going to go to the formatives, which are just the lessons. And um, you might want to make a new folder. So I'm going to call this new folder uh, Practice 2, and then I'll add that folder. So you might make a folder for each prep or each um, period that you teach. Now I'm in that folder and now I can make a new formative and the formative is just a lesson. It's just a formative lesson. So I'll just hit new formative and the first thing you might want to do is title it and so I'll just call it math worksheet one and then I'll hit this plus button. What you want to do is enhance a PDF, a doc, or a Google doc and I'm just going to browse for my computer. I already have the worksheet that Mark sent me just here called math lesson and you can see it's a word doc um, I think there was a maximum number of pages that it would upload and so if it's longer than that you'll just need to break it into shorter word documents but I think it's like five pages 25 pages I can't remember it'll take just a few seconds to convert that you can see here why it didn't convert into a Google Doc neatly because it's just pretty complicated so um, now that you've done that, you're ready to start adding questions. Um, this one name, there's not really even a purpose for that because it'll show you the student's name in Google Classroom, but I'll just show you how you would add that. You would just click next to name and you would choose short answer. You don't need to type the question because it's already on the worksheet and there's no correct answer, so I'll just leave that one blank. And you would just go through each of these lines and click on each one. U-shaped curve is called A. I'll just click on that and that's going to be another short answer. Again, I don't need to type the question. It's already on the worksheet, but down here I can type the correct answer so that it's graded automatically. Um, you can decide whether you want to make it case sensitive or not. In this case, I'm not going to. If you allow this partial match, you can do that, but then you have to type the separate answer sheet. So up to you if you do that. Uh, maybe if you know students are going to misspell parabola, you could just spell it some different ways here. Okay, um, once you've done that, you can just go through the rest of these and continue to add all of the questions that you want. Um, I'll show you how to do a sketch kind of question. You can just click next to that and do a show your work. And then it will, again, you can type your question, but it's on the worksheet, so I don't need to do that. So that's what students would do. I don't think this is a multiple uh, choice question, but let's pretend like this one is. So I can just click this, and I can choose um, multiple choice. 
Again, I don't need to type the question. It's on the worksheet, but let's say that B is the correct answer. So I would just check question B, and then that would automatically grade. So they would have to know this is the correct answer. Um, on these graphing charts, just know that, and I'm not even sure if this is appropriate for the question, but just know that you could um, click on these questions. And these are all the different things. You could record an audio response maybe for a language arts teacher or, or world language teacher. You can have students categorize or put things into the correct bin. Essay questions, you'll have to grade those. Graphing questions, so let's say that you have a graphing question here. That's going to give students a way to type in a formula to graph that. So just be aware that they're there. Um, other question types, uh, multiple choice, multiple selection, numeric, uh, resequence, short answer, show your work, true or false. Some of these will grade themselves, true, false, um, short answer, resequence, numeric, multiple selection, multiple choice, matching, graphing, categorize. The ones that won't are audio response, essay, show your work. I think all the rest of them will grade. Okay, so to um, preview the, the worksheet as a student, you can just click on the eyeball here, and you can go into uh, tablet mode, and then you can see exactly what the students are going to see as they're um, filling out this uh, this worksheet. Okay. So it, it's not a bad idea to go ahead and test these out just to make sure it's behaving uh, the way that you want it to. And I don't even know how to use um, Desmos, so I'll have to rely on my math teachers to test this one out. Okay, but once you know that it's looking good, then you're ready to go ahead and assign it and then you would just pick the class that you want it to go into. So I'll put it in this practice class period two. Make sure the number of students that you have is, is um, accurate and you can mouse over it to see those and these are just Rocky teachers from High Tech Friday if you want to get a sense of, of if you're posting it in the right class. And then you're just going to assign and post to Google and you're going to pick your PSD email and um, it should be in that class now. You might just go ahead and, and verify that it is. All right. Um, if you needed to send out a link for some reason, a kid wasn't able to get to it, you could always click on this link and uh, just grab that, uh, send it out to the student through the... Um, PSD gradebook, but shouldn't need to, but just know that if you need to grab a link to it, you can. Okay. Um, once the responses come in, you can you can view the responses either from here, just by, by clicking through, and the uh, name, I guess you would give them a point. I should have made that worth zero points, but... Um, and then here are these uh, automatically grades. You can see it gave me one point. And then if I drew, drew this correctly, you could give me a point. And then I got that multiple choice. So it's easy to, to grade these. All of your students would show up here if I opened this, but I don't have any. Um, you can also grade them right back from the the formative screen. So if I go into here for my, I have a just for fun class. I can always, you can always just go into that folder and click on the items here and view the responses. And so these are just um, Rocky teachers that took this. And I've already graded them, but I could go back through and regrade these if I need to. Um, any of those uh, draw your own answer is you'll need the grade. And um, you can see here, Adrian did not do a good job drawing these clock hands, so I'll give him zero points on that. Okay. And then you would just go through each of your each of your students and just uh, assign points to any of those that didn't um, grade correctly or automatically. Sorry. 
Then when you're done, if you want, you can go ahead and export those um, either as a spreadsheet or into Google Sheets. And what will happen is it'll just, uh, it'll just make a file and then you can just open that up in Excel or in Google Sheets. And then you can just open that up and quickly transfer your grades um, into, into your grade book. And it, it does all the math for you so that you're then just transferring these, these final grades for the students right here. So pretty slick, easy to do. All right, so that's um, it's a quick introduction to a formative of how to do a, a math worksheet. Uh, real slick uh, solution for somebody like Mark who's got these worksheets already made up in a Word doc, but they didn't transfer into a Google doc well, or he didn't want to have to grade them manually. So um, thanks for watching. Email me if you have any questions. Thanks, Lobos.